Hello, you buggers. Well, it's uh, Scott Grove, DMF Guitar, Part 2. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, sculpt pretty much where I want it at the minute. Um, uh, what have I done? Well, I've, I've actually popped another you know, like 8 mil thickness behind the eye, because I really want that eye to bulge out, pop out. You know, a, bit like the, a bit like the caricature that uh, Scott Groves uses. Um, so what I need to do now is just basically skin it with... Um, a resin and filler mix. Uh, it needs to go off quick because if it doesn't it will tend to eat through the foam. Here's a test piece. You can see the colour of the stuff, uh, the amount of activate I've used in there to make it go off nice and quick. But that starts to give it a nice nice coat. Um, so I need to put that on here. And I've got some cellophane wrap, it's the kind of stuff that florists use. Um, just sitting underneath. That's really good for separating out resin. Um, it doesn't work for epoxy. Epoxy tends to bind to it. Uh, so as the uh, resin um, starts to go off, I'll be able to go in with a, a sharp blade and just separate all the pieces out again. That'll just make it a lot easier just to sand them down. It's just the way to do it at the minute. Um, once I'm ready, uh, or, or just about just about finished. I'll um, you know I'll, I'll fix it all together and fill in all the gaps and make it all nice and mouldy like. Anyway, time to mix up some stuff. All oh, the pieces are going wild. Right. So what we have is some car body filler, or what you call bondo, some resin, and some activator, and cup, a stick, and a nice brush, and some thinner standing by to clean off the brush. So let's get some of this in here. Do I need more? Hmm. Doesn't matter, I can always I just want to get a first skin. <clears throat> I just I just want to get a first skin on it really. Um, just to give me something to build on. Alright, I'm gonna mix this together first, make sure I get the right viscosity. I want it thin enough so I can brush it on. Not too runny, it just goes everywhere. I'd like some of it to actually stick to the surface. Maybe just a little bit more resin. Alright, so that's kind of like the right consistency. And like I said, I want this to go off really quickly. So I need to make this. You know, it's supposed to use like <coughs> I recommend like a like a pea-sized blob of activator to a golf ball size <laughs> of filler. Not if you wanted to go off quick. So I'll put quite a lot in there. I might even put some more in. Well, the next trick is to get all of this on before it goes off. I think I should have enough time. It's all a bit of a guess. Still not peak enough. It's a good job it's quite cool out here. 
occurs with the heat on a warm day. This, this can just like go off as you're just stirring it if you're not careful. Right, let's go. Mm, not an easy thing to hold on to while it's all moving around. Well, no, you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to switch the camera off and move it out of the way. Look at everything else done. Well, the pot actually started going off before I'd, I'd finished, um, but it's it's starting to go jelly, so I'm just going to run a... I've got a long scalpel blade here. So I'm just running it through. I'd see better if the camera wasn't in the bloody way. I'm just separating out these pieces again. Perfect to do this at this jelly state. Yeah, that was about 10 minutes uh, after switching off the camera. This all started happening. <laughs> I told you I wanted to go off quick, didn't I? Like I said before, it's just a first coat. There'll be a few more yet. Good morning, you buggers. Well, I've put a uh, couple of coats of the um, the sludge onto the guitar, <laughs> all the bits of the guitar, and uh, so they've had a, all night to uh, cure. So let's go and have a look. So here's all the bits. I uh, just need to remove them. Let's just plunk them over here for a second. Remove them from the cellophane sheet mm -hmm. set them back out okay so there's all the bits now Obviously, one of the first parts got to do is a bit of sanding around all the edges to make it all fit back together again. Uh, it's all a bit, you know, lost lost some of its shape at the minute. And then we go in with the hard graft and actually start sanding all this down. Um, there's no two ways about it. You just got to hit it with sandpaper and uh, just keep working at it. So. 
I'll uh, I'll clean it all off just so it all fits back together again and we'll have another look. Till later, you buggers.